Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm back with another Sea of Thieves video today, and this time I want to show you an uncharted island I found, which you can find on the N10 quadrant on your ship's map. This is one of several islands that you can find in the beta, and there are plenty of other secrets to be found as well. Now we know that Rare is going to go heavy on the pirate lore in this game. Uh, there have been multiple references to the Kraken, and if you do some exploring, you can find some other skeletal remains of some large sea serpent type of things, with the skulls being absolutely huge, so having those in the game would be pretty awesome. Now diving in, we can see what this island really has to offer. You can see it's pretty cool looking with some rocky coral reefs and part of a shipwreck down here. But let's keep going, because there's definitely more to explore. We're going to keep diving down a little bit deeper, and we can see it opens up, and there's kind of a trench down here. Once we hit the bottom, we're going to see it opens up a little bit more, and we're going to keep swimming through this sea tunnel. I'm really excited to see what other secrets and easter eggs and just pirate lore in general that Rare includes, um, because I have a feeling it's going to be pretty awesome from some of the stuff we've seen so far. I've played this game for just hours. I got into the last technical alpha session and have played the heck out of this beta. Now coming through here, we'll find a secret hidden sea cave, which is pretty awesome. You would definitely never know this was here unless you did some serious exploring. Now we can see what looks like some treasure was stored in here. That chest has been opened and looted. And then looking around, I'm assuming that's a pirate skull and his poor parrot friend that perished along with them. Going back out of the cave, I noticed this hole in the ceiling of the cave, and it appears it's just some rock texture that's missing because I tried shooting through it, and it didn't go through. Now let's head back out the cave and see what else we can find. So swimming down, you can go back out the other way, and we'll end up coming out a different entrance to this sea cave. One of the things that I really love about this game is the stunning visuals. Rare just found the perfect mix of fantasy and realism. Everything just looks great. Watching the sunsets, the storms roll in, the sunrise, it just all looks absolutely gorgeous and they nailed the water too it looks spectacular and the physics are great and that's a tough thing to do and there we are this is a pretty expansive area there are other islands one in particular which is basically a giant reef and i won't ruin too much what's there because i'll show you that in a future video stay tuned for that very soon exploring in this ship you can see we've got kind of a giant clam there and some other types of coral Plenty of kelp. <laughs> Swim around a little more, see what we can find. This is just awesome to look at, even if you don't find anything. It's just really cool to explore. You can see what looks to be the mast of the ship that went down. You gotta be careful when you're exploring these areas though, because you can definitely come across a shark or ten sharks if you're really unlucky which can be fun, but they can also kill you pretty quickly. Exploring a little more, you can see the front half of a ship here. I'm wondering what took that down, if it was this coral reef here, or some type of sea serpent. But that wraps it up for this, guys. This island is pretty cool, so I suggest you check it out if you have access to the beta. You might even find something that I missed. Now, I'm really curious to see kind of what Rare is going to do with this island for a voyage, because having that underwater sea cave, it's clearly going to be used for something. But that wraps it up for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. It really helped me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Sea of Thieves beta if you've played it, or if you're just looking forward to the full release and haven't had the chance. Stay tuned for more Sea of Thieves videos, and as always, thanks for watching.